Oh, look at me running. What do we got here? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Triple kill. Yes. Drop to the floor. Drop to the floor. Drop, 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 drop to the floor. What's up, ladies and gents? This is Idaho Dub with another Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay. Playing a little domination on Gridlock. Still using the Galil. And I've actually been playing with some different perks recently, but this game I, I stuck with the normal. And that's uh, Ghost Pro, Warlord Pro, and Ninja Pro. So I'm going to do a little work here. Lay down some cover fire and try to secure B. You know, Strasburg toss, that's what I'm talking about. My right arm so strong and accurate. Picture perfect. So play a little offense, score B. My team going to help me? Maybe, maybe. Yeah, there we go. All right, B's locked down. B, bad boy, bomb, bum. <laughs> the uh, the bum. You guys heard of the bum? The most famous bum of all time, Mr. Ted Williams, the guy with the golden voice. I'm sure you've heard of him. He's all over YouTube. He got like 12 million hits. Well, he didn't, but somebody recorded him, and his voice is a great radio voice. They recorded him, and overnight got like you know a ton of hits, and he got a little bit of fame. But apparently, Mr. Ted Williams is a liar. Can you believe that? A homeless person's a liar. Even more shocking is this homeless person is also a drunk. What? You gotta be kidding me! A homeless person's a drunk? <laughs> yeah. Apparently, everybody's shocked because. He is a drunk, but I would say 100% of the bums that I've ever encountered have all been drunks. That's actually probably not a correct statistic. 98% are drunks. The other 2% are hooked on meth. That's a true story. I don't care if I'm offending somebody who used to be a bum and now has a computer and is watching this Xbox video, okay? Homeless people... Are drunks okay you do not become homeless because you're down on hard times okay I take that back you probably can become homeless you know if you had a rough go but I would say like 99.9% .9 of the time the reason that people become homeless are because they have an alcohol problem or a drug addiction so yeah drugs alcohol I guess alcohol is a drug homeless people Sleepwalkers. Sleepwalkers. I meant streetwalkers. Some homeless people probably are sleepwalkers. That would be the worst type of homeless person. Can you imagine that? I mean, you could go to sleep under a bridge and then sleepwalk, and you might end up on the streets. Oh, wait. You're homeless. Best case scenario is you sleepwalk, end up in somebody's home. They call the cops. You get arrested, and then at least you're going to jail. You're going to have a nice warm bed. Maybe not a warm bed. I have no idea. I've never never slept in jail. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Enough of the homeless talk. Enough of that. Back to some black ops. Oh, love black ops. So, my kill streaks, which I have switched up recently, are the, uh, the chopper, well, the, the, uh, the napalm strike, the, the chopper gunner, and then the cobra. Oh, the usual, yes. Now, I did switch them up, and I have been playing with other killstreaks, but I also upped my sensitivity to what, you ask? To level 10 insane. I'm just kidding. I cannot play that level. Uh, I get motion sick. What, what a noob. You get motion sick? Yes. If things spin too fast, hold up. Chopper, gunner, gunner, gunner. Okay, I had to get that up. Anyways, if things move too fast, I will get motion sick. That is a true story. In fact, I used to get car sick when I was younger, and I would have to take Dramamine before we went on family trips or long rides. I know, man. I didn't even play a shooter game until Halo 3 came out. That was my first first-person shooter. Okay, before that, I was like always pissed when games that I wanted to play weren't third-person. I was like, come on, man. Please be third-person. Can't you make Halo in third-person? And then, I don't know what happened. I... I, you know, overcame my motion sickness syndrome. Um, you know, basically, it, it's pretty remarkable. I mean, I overcame that. Uh, it's almost as remarkable as that, uh, that guy they cured that had AIDS. So pretty remarkable stuff. 
Um, I am a motion sickness survivor. <laughs> oh, man. So, now that I've offended the homeless, the drunks, the drug addicts, and uh, people who have AIDS, um, I'll just keep on rolling. Screw you, guy. Anybody else I want to I wanna bash on tonight? Yeah, you liberal, liberal left-wing bastards. Ah. <sighs> No, there's nobody else. This is gonna be a, it's gonna be a happy vlog, and this is not a vlog, but I do do a vlog. I this video, I have lost my audience. I'm pretty sure I am not speaking to anybody anymore. Uh, all right, let's keep this thing going. One other thing that really irks me, and that I deal with a lot at my job, uh, I do not work at one of these places, but it's the rent to own places. And I actually made a comment about this earlier today on my Facebook. But, uh, yeah, rent to own places, man. Do any of you rent to own? Please leave me a comment if you have ever used a rent to own, like a rent to center or uh, I don't know any other places. Here in Portland, there's uh, another place called uh, Aaron's. They do the same thing. It's like a rent to center. And uh, basically, you go in there, you don't have to have a credit check. Um, all you need is like five references or something, five friends who will vouch for you. And then they give you some like huge interest rate, you know, like 40%. And you end up paying like, for instance, a television, you know, it's like a $1,200 TV. You'll end up spending like three grand. That's not a joke. I've seen these receipts frequently. Uh, there's also rent to own rims, you know, for those people that, that need those 20s. 20 inch rims on an Impala shot collar that just happened a little little Troy a little little Troy you like that going old school but yeah don't use rent to own don't become homeless don't get addicted to drugs don't get AIDS because that that's probably the worst you don't want to get AIDS uh, if you need tips on uh, overcoming Dramamine if you are you know a Dramamine sufferer not Dramamine motion sickness use Dramamine like I said, this video is gone. I have lost you. I should probably just shut this, this thing off and quit talking. And this video is almost over, so I'm going to do just that. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate everybody who subscribed so far. I hope you enjoy it. Leave me some comments with whatever you want to leave, and we'll see you next time.